Hi, it's Chris from CBK Gaming coming to you with another unboxing. Um, this is The Great Fire of London, 1666 by Richard Denning and published by Medusa Games. I think this game has been out for a little while. Um, we managed to see it at the UK Games Expo back in June. Um, really attracted to the artwork and sort of the historical theme, um, living near London. Um, I've walked the area around Pudding Lane where the fire started numerous times. So I went onto the purchase list and we picked a copy up. Um, lovely piece of artwork at the front there showing St Paul's Cathedral, the old St Paul's Cathedral, uh, before it was redesigned by Christopher Wren. Um, and the dock front in flames from the fire at the height. If we just flip the back over. Okay, again, full colour artwork gives a sort of snapshot of the board. Um, it's in English and German, and a brief synopsis of the game where you are a group of sort of the wealthy landowners in London trying to contain the fire, but at the same time trying to maximise your advantage from it, which actually happened. Um, to ages 12 plus, three to six players, and 80 to 120 minutes. The artwork's by Andreas Resch. I hope I've pronounced that right. Apologies if not. And as I said, the game's designed by Richard Denning and published by Medusa Games. Okay, let's get okay, this over. First thing in the box is we have a full colour rule book. There's two rule books, one in English, one in German. Um, I can't read German, so I'm just going to move that to one side, but it looks identical. Okay, so the book is in full colour. It's good quality card and full gloss. Coming in at 12 pages or 11 pages of rules, 10 pages of rules with acknowledgements. Okay, uh, we've got a list of all the items involved in the game uh, 120 wooden houses, player pawns, uh, color cards, objective cards, fire movement cards, 20 tokens with demolition and double moves of the fire, 65 red cones, 6 black trained band cones, these are the firefighters of the day board rule game and six fire stack cards okay good big pictures of examples of play making it very very clear it looks fairly simple lovely big pictures demolishing districts and that's how they fought the fire in those days uh, they would actually demolish houses to create natural fire breaks and hope that the fire wouldn't spread um, did a little bit of reading. I believe the fire at its height actually did turn into a firestorm. Um, absolutely horrendous. So next we have the map board. Okay, it's a fold out, full colour. Featuring London as it was in 1666. The area of Pudding Lane where the fire started. These little house symbols um, are where houses start at the start of the game. You randomly place by colour. Each player has a colour. Um, the blue arrow here, the red and blue, show the direction that the fire can spread green across and they can travel diagonally. Okay, And you can see that each area of the board has a corresponding colour. Okay, Victory point track. Okay, each time a house burns down, you place it on and the score gradually reduces. Okay, so the person with the most points at the end is the winner. Okay, nice map board, I like that. It's got a slightly sort of antique feel to it. Very nice. Okay, components. So, first bag out. Okay, we have some wooden markers here. These are to put things like your gunpowder stickers on. I'll come to those in a minute. Nice seal ziplock bag. Okay, your train band cones. These are plastic. Okay, these represent your trained bands of firefighters attempting to contain. And the players can manipulate and control them and move them around the board as they wish to. Wooden meeples for each of the players. Again, these move around the board and give instructions or take control. They can contain fires, they can put out fires. 
the fire itself. Okay. These are wooden. Okay, probably about two inches tall. Okay, and these mark the path of the fire and players move randomly as cards are drawn to show the direction of travel. Wooden houses. Okay. Right. I'm not going to open these up. Okay. As I said, like rambling on the board, these are placed randomly, and as the fire consumes them, they're removed and placed onto the victory point track. Stickers for the black discs, gunpowder markers in red, increased movement markers for the fire. These again, these discs are placed face down so you don't know what's underneath them or what each disc represents. As you move in, you can flip them over and you may be lucky and draw a gunpowder. The fire may get an extra move, okay, or it may be extra victory points. Okay. Nice big velvety bag. This is for putting the houses in and drawing randomly at the start of the game. It's got logo on it. Quite nice. Okay. So this seal pack of cards, the Great Fire of London. There's three decks in here. Three, two, one. Uh, these are areas which are important to the player, uh, and he has to try and protect. Um, and each player gets three at the start of the game. Okay. Fire marker show the number of players. How many cards are deployed at the start of the game? And we have the fire movement markers. Okay, so quite easy to see the direction relating to the map. The Thames is at the bottom, north. Okay, so this one, like we showed on the map, will follow the green arrows in the directions shown. So this one will travel west. Okay, and there will be others with the different directions in there. And last but not least, Hero of London marker. Okay. Looks like an interesting, relatively simple game. We look forward to getting it out, having a play, and see where we go from there. So thank you for watching. If you like and found this interesting, please subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Thank you.